obeying the rules. Thank you. After reading Shocking Secrets of Antiquity, I haven't finished it yet. Let's see. I'm starting to think the underworld was real. Can you talk about the underworld? Well, when we talk about the underworld, you guys know that in 1962 began a series of archaeological discoveries that the world has really discussed. You can Google them and you can find some pretty specific information and see some fantastic pictures, but they don't teach this in high school. They don't teach it in college. History classes totally ignore this. There are 60 underground cities that have been found beneath Turkey, ancient Anatolia. The Hittite Empire rose and fell without ever really even knowing that these cities were down there, except for uh, Doguni, I can't even pronounce it, D-O-G-U-Y-A-Z-I-T, something like that. But uh, there are 60 of them that have now been found. But in 1962, one of them was accidentally found. But once they excavated it, they realized Hittite graffiti was on the first three levels. But it went seven levels lower, maybe deeper, but they were full of water. Then they found tunnels, and when they went through those tunnels, they found they were attached to other underground cities. It's almost as if an entire population had fled underground after a period of building these cities for fallout shelters. We have traditions from the ancient world about these underground cities. I believe, uh, I believe it's really interesting because I believe the leader was Anakos. Anakos needed to save his people, so he took his whole kingdom underground. Well, Anakos is nothing but a cultural memory phonetically akin to Anunnaki or Anuna. So, yeah, I got that in one of my books. It's really, it's really fascinating. But the underworld would be deeper than that. These only go down to a certain depth. But the surface of our world is a thin skin. of all, uh, It's only 12 miles. The, 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 the variance from height to depth on the surface of the world is only 12 miles. That's nothing. Our world is so vast. Whether you're a flat earther or whether you believe it, where we're living on a sphere, it doesn't matter. The surface of the world that we inhabit is so vast that it's only 12 miles in the biosphere. And we only occupy less than 1% of that. What I mean is, is from Mount Everest, the highest point of, of our biosphere that we live, from Mount Everest to the bottom of the Marianas Trench is 12 miles. That's nothing. However, we have civilizations built on top of civilizations spread out through deserts, jungles, Arctic areas, more, more uh, urban areas, rural areas, more cities, more civilizations. We're 7 billion souls living on a, on a thin skin. But if there are civilizations in the underworld, they have more room than we do. They can build layers hundreds of miles of depth. They can receive geothermal heat, springs, fresh water. Underwater rivers are everywhere. We have now isolated that there are certain types of bacteria, algae, molds, and fungus that are bioluminescent. If you were to harvest those in the underworld, that's the only light source you would need. So, yeah, I believe 100% there are civilizations in the underworld. I believe that Caucasians were in the underworld for centuries, maybe got trapped there, had a whole infrastructure, mining, they had mining districts, they had uh, manufacturing districts, whole old subterranean biosphere set up, and then just probably after time passed, forgot there was a surface. Yeah, history of our world is fascinating. When Caucasians first appeared, it blew everybody's mind. And it's the subject matter to many, many traditions from non-Caucasian people. We find them in the Dead Sea Scrolls. We find them in the Jewish Haggadah texts. We find them in ancient Maori traditions. Yeah, when, when white people first appeared, nobody had ever seen them. They were called shining ones because their skin was so white. Yeah, they were called, they were called all kinds of names. Uh, ancient Egypt had a bunch of names for them too. Shim, Shimsu Hor. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll get all... Uh, you need to watch my Anuna Files videos to get all that information.